Good morning, everyone. It's Mitch. It's Sunday, uh, the morning after. It's uh, September 14th. Yesterday was my first le- losing day of the season against the spread. I was 9-11-1. I've had worse days in my life than that. Um, we're still 38-28-1 on the season. It's been a super season so far. Um, we're going to hope to hope to rebound uh, next week, and if that's the worst week we have all season, we'll, we'll, we'll surely uh, we can live with it. Let's just quickly recap what happened yesterday. Uh, we, we liked Cal. We're not sure if we're going to be liking Cal again. Um, I don't like to, to talk about the kids, so we're going to lay this one all on Coach Tedford. Um, then we, we also had uh, UCLA. I'm not sure what we were thinking. That was their worst loss since 1929. Well, I think this one should sit with them for another 80 years. That would serve them right for even you know pretending to be that fraud that we thought they were. Uh, we thought they were something, but... Uh, you know, to, to quote, quote Dennis Green, uh, they are who we thought they were, and, and what we thought they were wasn't much. Uh, Ohio State Buckeyes, I really expect that you guys were going to play some smash mouth football. Yeah, you got smashed in the mouth all night long. That was pretty ugly. Um, I, I really expected to see a little more speed. I, I didn't expect you guys to fold up the tents. What I saw out there was a team that just absolutely quit. That uh, Auburn-Mississippi State game, we didn't uh, play that game. But, wow, 3-2 in an SEC battle, that was fantastic. I mean, most people, they, you know, they see a 3-2 game or they saw that game on ESPN. And, uh, you know, I, I love 3-2. I, lo- I love Smash Mouth College SEC football. And, and that's just, you know, it's a classic. You know, that, that game you'll look at the record book for years and, and wonder, you know, people will be looking, you know, for years and they'll wonder if that's a typo or not, you know, or if it really was a 3-2 to two ball game. But it did happen yesterday. Uh, we had um, Oklahoma just... I mean, really turning on the Jets and just pasting Washington. They didn't leave it up to, like, you know, for Washington to cry about, like, that their quarterback threw the ball over their shoulder and, you know, for the ref to call the call. The call how it actually is written in the rule book. Yeah, I mean, I don't think the refs are, are too good either. But um, on that one, I have to say that they just called it how it was in the, in the rule book. If you're going to leave some guys some leeway to make calls, I don't think the NCAA referees are the guys you want to do that with. I've been watching football for um, – over 40 years at this point. And I have to say that, um, you know, up until last year, I'd never seen a guy signal for a fair catch, run it in for a touchdown that counted. But I saw it last year, and that's how bad the officiating is. It certainly hasn't gotten any better this year. The new thing is it seems like all the kids are looking to get a face mask penalty also because nobody seems to know how to buckle a chin strap. Maybe this should be lesson 101, like Coach John Wooden used to teach his old UCLA basketball uh, players. The, the first thing he would teach them was how to put on their socks so they don't get blisters and how to tie their shoes. It was always his first lesson, and he had some pretty good success doing that. Um, we're going to hope to have some, some, some really good success uh, next week. we got another good slate of games. Um, it's, it's always a good slate of games when we're talking college football. We'll be talking college football all week long, and uh, we'll be giving you our picks and uh, our analysis, and uh, we're just going to keep, keep the ball rolling. So thanks for joining me. This is Mitch.